welcome, this is Steve from Open Bomb, and in the next few minutes we are going to create a complete bill of material from an LTM board along with its associated library information uh, using Open Bomb for LTM. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start right at the beginning, and if you already have an account you can kind of skip over some of this. So, so anyway, we are going to start at the uh, Open Bomb website, and I'd like you to choose Sign In. Like I said, if you have an account, you can go ahead and sign in. If you don't, please click on register and complete the information here and, and then go ahead and sign in. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and sign in right now. Once you're signed in, you'll be taken to the Open Bomb dashboard. Next thing I want I want you to ensure is that you have the proper license level. And the um, in, um, all of Open Bomb's integrations require our minimum um, uh, monthly subscription, which is professional user, and you can go ahead and buy this here and you'll be activated immediately. Or if that doesn't work good for you, you can request a free trial. So go ahead and make sure that you've done both of those so that your OpenBOM account um, is activated. So go ahead and do that, then return to, <clears throat> return to OpenBOM. And there's one more step that's required here. I'd like you to click on support and send a message to our support team. Request Altium access. Go ahead and provide your email, the same email that you use for, for Altium, and, and, uh, and then we'll go ahead and activate uh, the add-in for you. So go ahead and complete that information and send that over. So that's really important. So once that's, once that's done, and you've got your account and you've uh, sent email to support, and you receive the confirmation back, you go ahead and go ahead and open open Altium and open one of your projects. I'm going to start here with an LED project that has a couple of components and a couple of boards and it has a library as well. So in the end I'd like my bill of material to have all the components listed in the board as well as images and other information that are only stored in the uh, that are only so stored in the Altium libraries. So with that in mind I'm going to go ahead and create an open bomb catalog from the Altium library. I'm gonna do that first, and I'll show you why in a moment. So it's very simple. I select the library for my project, right mouse, create catalog. So OpenBOM creates that catalog for you, brings in all that information from the catalog, uh, from the library, right into our catalog. And you can see that we bring in, you know, thumbnail images, part numbers, and quite a lot of other information. Actually, any information stored in the Altium library comes into our catalog. I've kind of jumped ahead a little bit and I added a few other columns here using the add property command. I added cost because I like to start keeping track of the cost of my components. And I also use the vendor, the set vendor option here to set, uh, to add a vendor column in my catalog. And I can go ahead and assign vendors that I might be buying those components from. I, of course, could add any other information that, that I wanted to keep track of. So that's great. So I've got the uh, got the Altium library now um, as a catalog in OpenBOM, and I'm going to return back to Altium and choose my my project and right mouse on that and say OpenBOM create bomb. So now what we're doing is we're building a bomb of those uh, of of that PCB, and we're going to get all the information associated with that with that uh, with that board. So what we'll end up with here in just a moment is a bill of material for my LED project. It has information from the board as well as information from the library that we just created. And that's really important. And that's how we can see this, you know, the part number from the board with its associated uh, image. And we do that by connecting that library that we just created using parts and catalogs and go ahead and connecting that LED library to, to my board. So you can see costs and other things came in. I can go I can display totals and I can roll up. If I was keeping track of costs that I wanted to I wanted to roll up totals and things like that, I could start keeping track of that information here. So 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 that's it. Um, let me go ahead and recap for you a little bit. What we did was we we visited the uh, the open bomb. Uh, website and signed in or created an account. We sent mail to support um, asking for the um, uh, the Altium add-in, and we also were sure that we either had a free trial or that we purchased the proper 
uh, open bomb license. Then we, we returned back to Altium, we opened, our, we opened our project, and we started with our library, and we said right mouse create catalog, and we did that, and then we followed up with, um, with our board, and we also said, you know, did a right mouse you know, create bomb from that. Once we had both the bomb and the catalog created in, uh, in open bomb, we opened the bomb and we used the button right here to go ahead and associate those two together. Uh, and then after that, all the information from that catalog is available in the bomb. There are many more videos on associating catalogs with bombs, on adding cost and, and vendor information. So I'd like to refer you to those on our YouTube channel. So we always appreciate uh, hearing from you. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, support at openbomb.com. You can reach us there anytime. Thanks.